Hello, Commanders! Welcome to the 11th part of our guide series. Before we talk about tank tactics, let us take a quick look at the organized gameplay aspect of the game, consisting mainly of battalions. With your role in an organized group comes a great responsibility, because a lot will ride on your ability to play right and support your team. Battalions are, simply put, Armored Warfare's term for clans. They are organized groups of up to 100 players, banding together to play in competitive modes or to participate in events. Being in an active one will allow you to always find partners for PvP and PvE matches. It goes without saying that in battle, an organized team has a major advantage over solo players. But if you want to just chill with your friends and chat, having them all in your battalion also comes in handy. Each battalion has a unique name, tag, and description, which is a good place for you to express the interests and nature of your group. There's always a hierarchy as well. On top sits the battalion leader, who founded the battalion in the first place. He or she may appoint officers, invite or kick members, and even disband the battalion. If needed, the command can be transferred to another player. The officers appointed by the leader also have the right to invite and remove battalion members and typically serve as the leader's right hand. There can be as many officers as the leader desires, but the core of the battalion always consists of regular members who do not have any special rights or powers. Should troubles arise, the leader of the officers can demote any regular member to the penalized status. Penalized members do not receive battalion contract rewards, even if they contributed to their completion. There are several ways of joining a battalion. You can submit an application which may be approved by the leader or an officer, or you can join right away without asking anyone if the recruitment process is set to open. The recruitment conditions and settings may be defined by the leader, who sets the application conditions including desired tier ownership, preferred modes of the battalion, or the time during which the battalion is the most active. The final recruitment choice is the open versus private setting. Open recruitment will allow any players to join your battalion without any checks. With the private settings, players need to submit applications, which then get reviewed. It's worth noting that you may leave any battalion at any point. There are no conditions for that. If joining an existing battalion is not for you, you may even found your own one at any point. All you need for that is either 4 million credits or 320 gold. The competitive success of a battalion is measured in its ranking, which depends on the activity of its members. You can see the ranking of each battalion in the battalion tab of your garage screen. Simply put, each member of the battalion has a personal rank and earned in ranked battles, which we will discuss a bit later. These ranks combine to measure the battalion performance, and you have to work hard to keep them. If your battalion is inactive, its ranking starts dropping. Having a higher ranking than other battalion comes with major benefits. There's a special contract mission system available only to battalion members. With it, you complete tasks together with your battalion members, and the whole battalion reaps the rewards. The higher your battalion's ranking, the better the rewards are from these contracts, including Special Hades high-tier premium vehicles, rank safeties, or even the coveted Shadow Armored fighting vehicle. In short, the most effective approach is first to increase your battalion's ranking, and then to complete battalion contracts for maximum rewards. There are, of course, some detailed rules to the whole thing. The leader controls these contracts, and while the rewards are sent out automatically, the shadow blueprints, which you need 100 of to receive the vehicle, are assigned by the battalion leader personally. Ranking can also be saved by a rank safety, which ensures that your ranking does not drop for a certain period of time. Furthermore, players who are in a battalion for less than 7 days and penalized players will not receive battalion contract rewards upon its completion. And last but not least, let us talk about two special modes that are available to battalions only. First is the Ranked Battle Mode, which is running on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time. In this PvP mode, battalions fight each other for ranking and unlike in the Random Battles mode, it is possible to send a whole 10-man team to battle. Your battalion, however, does not need 10 members to participate. Smaller teams will be completed by players from other battalions. 
The game will also make sure that you're fighting battalions of roughly equal ranking so that elite battalions cannot farm weaker opponents for ranking over and over. The second is the Heroic Special Operations mode, which is essentially a much harder version of the existing Special Operations missions and the pinnacle of Armored Warfare's PvE. Only well-organized teams will succeed in this mode. Both modes require extensive game knowledge and skill and are therefore not suitable for new players. We just wanted you to know about them so that you do have content to aspire to. There are few items as prestigious to have in the game as those obtained via these hardcore modes. In the next and final part of the series, we'll discuss tactics that will come in handy in battle. But until then, see you on the battlefield!